John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. And that's kind of excited. I've got uh, some Team Yankee arrived in the mail. This is uh, from the Red Dawn release, and it is the uh, U.S. Militia Group and the pickup trucks, the transports for them. Now, the odyssey to get these has been long and uh, uh, drawn out. I ordered these from Battlefront directly, and apparently I missed the first wave, had to wait for the second wave. Felt like it took forever to get this, but uh, finally they're in. So I thought maybe there were some of you that haven't got it yet, maybe had some of the same experiences that I had, and uh, um, you know, might want to see what this is about. So we're going to look at both of these boxes. Let's take a look at the militia group first. Um, and this is inspired, obviously, by the movie Red Dawn. I don't know if they actually had the rights to it or not. Um, We have a unit card, we have bases, five medium sized bases and three small bases, and then we have the infantry figures. And I believe there's 28 of them here, we'll find out in a little bit when we go to glue all these guys down. Now, except for a couple of outliers, I've always been kind of a fan of uh, Battlefront infantry figures. Um, and I haven't looked close enough at these to see any other way. Now, you'll notice there is no assembly instructions in this package. Uh, you do have the card, which tells you exactly, um, you know, on this page the stats, on this page the um, militia group five assault rifle teams with RPG-18 anti-tank and two uh, RPG anti-tank teams, RPG-7. So it looks like you can get up to uh, seven stands in a unit or a smaller unit of four stands. But anyway, um, it looks pretty interesting. But if you go on the website, the Flames of War website, and look at this unit description, it does actually have not only kind of suggestions for painting, but it does have the uh, guide, exactly what we have here, you know, for each figure, as well as how to mount them on a base. For example, the RPG 18s, which need to be one on each one of the medium stands, are these purples, I believe. But it makes it very clear if you follow the instructions of exactly what gets what. Uh, the figures themselves are cool looking. I'm going to uh, go ahead and glue these to the base. I like painting my infantry uh, on the base. I know some people will put them on popsicle stands or whatever and paint them first that way and then put them on the base, but I'm lazy and I just put them on the base. I might even base them with sand before uh, base coating them. It does look like there will be a little cleanup here. Um, there is a pretty significant chunk of metal there, but that usually just trims right off. Looks like most of them have something. It is important you get these off either by trimming it with your hobby knife or grinding it down with some sandpaper to get them to fit snugly uh, in the base. Otherwise, they're just flopping around and look ridiculous. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, glue these in and take a closer look at those in a moment. Next up, let's take a look at the pickup trucks. I'm not sure what this piece of resin is here. Uh, actually, it does look like this part is broken, which is a shame. But let's go ahead and open it up. This is resin, so resin does glue rather easily if all the parts are there we might be able to uh, fix that if not it's going to go back to battlefront for replacement and usually they're pretty good on that all right we've got wheels we've got gunners we've got foam, we've got the trucks, 
we've got that broken piece of resin some other little tiny pieces I don't know what those are yet but let's take a look at the broken piece first so it looks like that's going to be a super easy fix right there so I'm not too worried about it we'll put it in the truck bed for right now um, it's a shame that that happened but you know if you get that same thing it's gonna be up to you I choose to fix it but if you get something similar to that um, you're more within you know you're all within your right to send that back to Battlefront I totally support that but um, you know, otherwise these look pretty cool it looks like they do have a little mold release on them but that's to be expected uh, but we'll go ahead and assemble these two and take a, a look at them as well these look very straightforward um, ah, there is the unit card which is nice unarmored transport attachment each one can carry two passengers so you'd probably need you need all four if you're going to transfer a uh, full size uh, militia squad which is cool pretty cool all right so let's go away for a minute assemble these and we'll be right back all right assembly is complete as it were um these models um needed some cleanup the metal in particular um like i said there was a lot of flashing but um overall it's kind of what you expect with metal models and this is uh some of the hero characters you can still see there's still a little need of uh, removing some flashing but pretty much all the bases were scraped and sanded so that they fit snugly in there then normally what i do is i throw down some sand and base coat these but we'll probably do a what's on the table for these later <clears throat> on the card you can see what the painted uh, models look like you can see that there is a fair amount of detail there when you're looking at just the metal it's really hard to see uh, but know that it's overall it's pretty good now the uh, trucks they went together pretty well although you know we had to glue each wheel on individually um, and that did mean that some of them are a little floppier than others but for the most part oh, that's the one that's a little bit off but not bad uh, just running these on sandpaper a little bit will level it out and and no problem at all the one that was broken I can't see it here uh, you can see how much it mattered oh I guess it was this one it was missing another piece there was a tiny piece um, in the package here on this part of the roll bar um, that I couldn't find there was another piece but it wasn't the piece that's missing uh, or it's part of the piece that's missing but not the whole piece so I'm not sure but the fact that that's not in the package is a little disconcerting um, which might imply that it broke before it was put in there but I don't know maybe it, it fell out when I was opening it but I don't I don't think so uh, or I'm just not ori orientating that piece correctly but you can kind of see that I think when it's painted that's yeah it's not really noticeable but again if you have an issue like that and it bugs you uh, please do contact you know Battlefront that's what their customer service is for you can also uh, put optional machine guns upgrade these trucks with optional machine guns so you do get four of these gunners which are pretty cool they have a I guess that's an M60 machine gun on a pedestal transports for this unit is uh, pretty inexpensive so you just know, a future John interrupting this review video I did manage to actually paint these guys and get them ready for a battle in just a couple days so I thought I mean I'd include this in the video uh, since I haven't finished editing it um, just kind of show off what uh, what we have so you know these are uh, some of the hero characters the main guy not Patrick Swayze those miniatures um, are, are nice and then there's some more generic riflemen which uh, the quality is not quite as good as the, the hero 
ones, but uh, still quite acceptable. Um, I just used contrast, a bunch of contrast, and then a, a wash, and then a dry brush. So overall, uh, knocking these guys out pretty good. If I want to, I can now come back and uh, do a highlighting step, uh, which I may or may not do. But uh, overall, I won't tell you the, how they performed in battle um, because I don't want to spoil an upcoming battle report. But um, yeah, I, I enjoyed them. So then we have the uh, vehicles themselves, the pickup trucks. Overall, um, these painted up super easy. Just tried to dirty them up a little bit. Um, went blue, brown. Since in the catalog for that type of truck, they did have brown ones. Uh, this is my homage to Philmont Scout Ranch. If anyone watching is a Boy Scout, I used to work for the Boy Scouts out at Philmont for many years, and I actually drove a uh, truck that uh, looked a lot like this, but you know, not quite as rusty and beat up. And then the red one, I tried my hand with a little paint fading there. I think. It was somewhat successful, somewhat pleased with it. Overall, I mean, I like these. This is the damaged one, but um, the damaged model, but now it just looks like the truck is damaged, so, you know, it is what it is. I think it looks pretty cool anyway. Uh, these, even if you're not using these in battle, they you can use them as terrain. They look great next to these buildings. Um, yeah, overall, I'm really pleased. All right, that's it. Uh, let's get back to that, uh, let's get back to that review. You know, you do have that. But overall, um, you know, the, the models look pretty nice. They are, um, should paint up pretty easily. And I think in game, these guys really add a nice dynamic to American forces. And we'll probably see this mechanic uh, again in Team Yankee if I was a betting man. Um, which is interesting. These guys, instead of ambushing, they, they kind of have a quasi-ambush into the enemy's deployment zone, or no man's land. Uh, but they don't uh, move, I believe, on the turn that you ambush with them. They can't move. So you can't ambush them in assault in one turn, for example. Um, so it's interesting, they come in on a 5+, plus, but that's not a reserves roll. You can't put them in reserve, you just start rolling a five plus until they come in. So I guess you could get lucky and or unlucky and have them not come in until turn four or five and they can't even, um, you know, charge or assault that turn that they come in. Your opponent's gonna have to anticipate these guys and have a plan for them because they could pop up in their backfield at any time. We'll have a separate unit overview for this as well, but there you go. That is a look at the uh, militia group and the militia pickup truck packages from Battlefront Miniatures. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do consider giving us a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.